<clears throat> so this is kind of the thesis I want to have for this video. Why do we analyze other people? And I just want to start with that, leave that there, leave it open for a little bit unless you, you know, taking that question a little bit. All right, good. You thought about it. So there's good and bad reasons. And as I'm recording this, I'm thinking of more, you know, reasons, good and bad, as to why we do these things. Because in, you know, certain genres, characters are analyzed and characters are supposed to be representations of people, right? So if we analyze people, analyze things they've been through, it's... It kind of propels us as a society and as a race of not race, but just, you know, as a society and as, us as, you know, generally human beings. Right. But I believe it gets toxic for the most part. And it gets overwhelming the amount of news and, you know, specific you know, people that are being analyzed over and over and people who are being brought to our attention over and over and over again to where it, it gets a little suspicious and skeptical in my head as to why I need to, to, you know, focus on this person right now when that shouldn't be my focus at all. And that's, you know, the kind of thinking I try to get at whenever I'm seeing these things and these things are brought into my attention. Because it's like, what am I supposed to take away from this? Or is there really nothing for me to take away from this? You know, so it leads me to create my own opinion on whatever is being shown to me, pretty much where it's like, OK, I'm neutral to this. I don't agree or I do agree. And that's kind of the uh, the three kind of answers you have to to this you know information that you're getting from this person where it's like okay i'm like them i'm in between and i'm not like them you know i guess that that's how i can kind of explain that which like middle ground it's like i don't really care the other part is like i'm like them and the other side is i'm not like them at all you know so those are kind of like the three things where it's like yes maybe you know you know, I've, I've explained that now so you understand where I'm trying to go with this whole, you know, topic about why we analyze other people. So just keep those three things in mind while I'm talking about everything. All right. So I'd like to start where. OK, so we can we can think of, you know, let's say in my childhood or maybe your childhood or whatnot. So we have parents. Right. And our parents have lived lives and they've seen things before we were ever conceived right so they tell us things to do and what not to do and we we you know look up to them and take their word because we know as we're growing older as kids we're like okay they know things that we are yet to know so we take whatever they learned in their life and they tell us they you know give us advice on what to do and how to move and things like that to become, you know, who we are or, you know, in some cases what they couldn't be or some cases what they are. Right. So that can kind of blend in to what I'm talking about with, you know, analyzing or that's probably a different topic where it's like, you know, directing other people or, you know, just the um, there's probably a word for it, but. It's not clicking in my head right now, but I, I'm trying to build like this consensus on this whole topic. And this is probably a different part of it, but I feel like it ties in where it's like you're analyzing or you're taking something from somebody else. Not taking literally, but like who they are as a person. You know, it's like it's a lesson of what to be, what not to be. Or are you already that? Or can you learn from this? How can you build on that? How can you not be like that? And it, it's a whole circle so keeping that all in mind is you know at the root of it all it's about learning learning something you know it's about learning something whenever we're analyzing these other people but you know my 
my my mind kind of allows me to attack that where it's like I understand they did something great but they may not be a great person at heart or they may not may not be a person that I want to be or I may not want to take the route that they took but they did something great nonetheless so I respect that at its core but I understand that I'm my own individual I'm not like them uh, I can uh, achieve something that they achieved of course everyone has the same you know everyone has the same amount of time and everyone anyone can you know just randomly do something great but it just feels a lot more pressurized because they they throw a lot of people's accomplishments in your face and you're supposed to respect them when in their entirety they're probably not good people they had to do a lot of things to get to that point and you're not doing the same things they did you know, so it's it's kind of a, a weird cycle of, you know, analyzing these people or from their side. You know, let's just jump over to their side for a second there. They know what they've been through and, you know, they're appreciative, appreciative of the spot that they're in now. But it's affected them so much that now they're almost like a spectacle to these other people. And they can't even be a person that they want to be anymore because they're in such high standing that if they do something that they would normally do, it'll probably bring all that down in an instant, you know? So it's, you know, constantly walking on eggshells for that type of person. And I, I feel like I realized that, you know, in, in my teens a little bit of just wanting to be, you know, a person with fame or a person that's known I didn't want that as a kid, but I, I thought about it as like, dang, maybe the world, maybe I can, you know, but it's just like, it has to start while you're a popular kid, right? And I wasn't, you know, I was, I knew people, I was just like the in-betweener. I was just, I didn't really have a clique. I didn't have anybody to run with, but I was around, you know what I'm saying? I had my people I knew and people knew me, just stuff like that, but to be somebody that would have the chance to be popular, you know what I'm saying? You'd have to have something that people wanted or you would have to, you know, do something great for the world or something besides school, you know what I'm saying? But it's, how can I explain it? I apologize, but it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult topic to talk about, you know, um, yeah. Okay, so, because I want to keep this in, bro. This is a very, you know, insightful topic, and we need to really dig into this. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're listening, if you're not listening, just, you know what I'm saying, just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? We're getting to this point. So, yeah. So, you would have to have prior experience of being popular, but I didn't. Or other people may have not, but they got popular nonetheless, or whatever would happen, right? So, what I learned and what I thought about, you know, beginning a little older, it's just like, dang, a lot of what I am now would have to be different. Or it's just a lot more danger. I'm more out in the open. Uh, I can't even walk around the same anymore my face is out there things are more accessible to people and that doesn't sit right to me i would have to be interacting with people a lot more i'd have to be doing a lot more different things than i would normally do and maybe there's an upside to that but you know what i'm saying certain lives that you live now you know it, it's a trade-off for all that for all that you get paid for all that but you know what I'm saying, yeah, something is affected in you a lot. You know what I'm saying? Some some things change about you. Like, sure, you're doing all that and you're having good interactions, you're meeting a lot of people, you're doing a lot of things, but it's just it, it, I feel to a point it becomes numb. Because even at even at a low point, even at, you know, if you had a regular life, you know what I'm saying, you'll feel those same things. And of course, you know, it's totally different because you can go out, fly out anywhere, you can buy anything, but I feel like it, it it hits a lot more once you're at that level, if that makes sense. It's a whole different level where it's like 
you'll still have bad days, right? So it just brings you down to being human nonetheless. But I feel when you're higher, you're seeing a lot more things more rapidly. In my opinion, I, I don't have the inside of them at the wherever they're at, but a lot of times we're, we're shown things. They have to be shown. <clears throat> it show us things that they're, you know, supposed to show us, right? But we don't get to know everything about them, right? If that makes sense. But we 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 see whatever they're doing, right? <laughs> but we don't, you know, know or hear whatever they are, if that makes sense. Uh, and that's, that's a little difficult to say and difficult to comprehend, but how I'm speaking about it and how, what, how it's coming out from my mind, I can explain it in that way. So it's just basically, let's say, let's use an artist, for example, right? They make music, uh, talk about certain things. Uh, they're on promotional, they're in music videos, they're in interviews and whatnot, but it's like... What else is besides this? Did they really enjoy that interview? Was it just for they it was just for this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, as a fellow human, I understand like dang, I would do an interview with somebody I really don't care about just because of that too. So it's just, you know, trying to understand them at the human core. And I feel like that's why a lot of people analyze or have issues with these people because you know, it's it's a human response. It's a human thing we would do. Because we're, we're alike in certain ways, you know. And I start realizing that a lot too, where it's just like certain things I would do. I would do that, but for the most part, that type of life is a hassle. If I feel, you know, living a different way than, than now is so much of a hassle i believe if i get if i randomly blow up and have all these random people you know trying to get to know me and trying to be around me that would really affect me you know personally so if somebody who's not used to that and used to being in those type of environments it's probably a whole different experience for them and they're probably used to it and trying to get used to it you know what i'm saying but somebody who hasn't you know had a lot of experience with that and they're blown up to that proportion they probably get used to it as well too but it's just me seeing all that it's something that i know that i wouldn't want so i want to be you know anonymous or know a certain certain you know amounts of people right i don't want to be worldwide i don't want to have my face everywhere I, I i don't know it's something about that that just you know doesn't sit right and I, I finally, that finally clicked in my teens that it's just like, nah, if like, honestly, I probably would have been out of place by my age now, if I was starting when I was younger and trying to build, 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 and build, you know, I'd probably be at a different place, but you know, it's probably not for me. So back to the other topic of why we analyze other people. So let's get down to some reasons, right? The good, bad, and the whatever else. So, so I want to state this good and bad reason as why we analyze other people is what we're looking for in ourselves. And what do I mean by that? How that's good and bad. Where it's like we're looking at this other person and we're learning about ourselves, And that's good and bad, right? Because we realize like, Let's use an example, right? Like this one part, this one celebrity or whatever, they're saying something totally outlandish. And a good side is like, I don't think like that. I wouldn't say something like that, right? A bad side is like, I'm like that and I would say something like that. I think that's a problem. And that, you know, that's, that's a good or bad statement. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you can either change or you'll stay the same. Or you'll relate or you're not you know what i'm saying where it's like it's good or bad where you realize like oh i'm not like that or you realize and you want to be that you know what i'm saying that's bad but you realize that you are like that and you want to change that and that's good so it's you know 
there's different reasons and you know i can argue good and bad reasons for both so that's why it's like hard for me to kind of make these opinions because i can i can do that <laughs> that, that's why i feel like it's always so difficult for me to you know talk about certain things because i'm always in the middle because i can i always can see both sides i don't try to just run with everything but i know what i agree with and what i don't agree with so that would that's what kind of you know stays you know stays uh stagnant in whatever i'm i'm doing you know so good or bad reasons for that why we analyze people and why we don't you know or there's a lesson in whatever they they're doing you know what i'm saying and we're human beings so we can learn from other human beings and that's you know the core reason of why we analyze other people but you know my my little issue that i have is the certain people that we do have to analyze you know i would appreciate a deeper dive but at the same time a lot of what they've done i don't want to warn a deeper dive you know what i'm saying so that's where you know certain things come into play for you know me personally and maybe other people as well to where that's that's where a lot of disconnect comes in where it's like i understand this person i don't want to talk bad about them i really don't have anything to say about what's going on with them you know their things are going on with them either way so it doesn't have anything to to do with me you know what i'm saying where it's just like i i understand what this person went through i understand what they did but you know at their core they're not a good person or they're a good person and they had probably just did something bad or they're a good person and it's like oh you know i appreciate this person it's like I had to find my own path. I can't just keep, you know, seeing these other people and, you know, trying to analyze them and trying to take what they had. And I understand, you know, advice and whatnot, but it's like, I still need to experience my own experiences. I can't, you know, just, there's a lot of things I've, you know, took from people older than me and I understood. And it changed me, but it's like, I'm still trying to walk my own way. At the end of the day, that's what you have to do. You can't just keep looking at somebody else to make your steps for you. So you have to make your steps. And here's where I get into a, a, a another territory that's, you know, has its ups and downs. But, you know, it's primarily uh, a difficult idea to grasp. And, you know, I... I go to blaming social media for, you know, its algorithm and what we are shown. Because a lot of things that I'm talking about, it's it's an algorithm and it's shown to us on purpose, shown to us from whatever we do. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things that we consume day to day are made by somebody else, you know, so it is a human being or we're seeing a human being every day. You know, so it's just it's difficult to you know, try to break away from this, but it's just that we're focusing on what other, these uh, so many other people are doing day in and day out that we forget about our own, that we don't make up our own opinions. We don't try to live our own life. We don't try to do the things that they're doing when we can. We, we are capable of doing that, but we are so locked into somebody else doing it or seeing somebody else do these things when it's very much in our capability to do what they're doing not probably not at their level right now but we can do the same things that they're doing and it's just difficult to try to break away from that you know this this day and age where it's just it's shown to us and it, it looks like it's just a far away idea that in reality it's not but that's just a difficult thing to break away from after being you know, indoctrinated to it for so many years, you know, to where it almost becomes like a dream where it's like, dang, this is such a dream that, you know what I'm saying? We can even think about doing this or even think about being on that level, you know, but it can happen. It's just, it's just about work, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these things that we see nowadays, it took years where it's just, we're seeing the the fruitfulness of it now. Right? They, they were at the same level that we were at one viewer zero they were at zero just like we were we're all humans man like nobody just well we don't know for sure but there's a lot of things that we don't know you know
But that also goes to show that we overanalyze too much, you know, where where we think this person had to do this for this and that, where, oh, you have to do this and that for that, or they bought this, or, you know, there's so many rumors that get tossed around for, you know, somebody who probably didn't even do that thing, or they probably had a rough, you know, time with that, you know what I'm saying, to where it's just... It brings down their self-esteem and hurts them. You know what I'm saying? People don't care. They're going to make that rumor and be like, oh, you had to do this for that. Oh, you do that because you look like that. Or like, oh, you really like that when it's like, in reality, that's probably not true to them. You know? But it's just because people are so overanalyzed sometimes. It's just people hate that they're analyzing this person or this person is getting this and that over them. So they're going to try to find a way to attack that person. And there's no way to stop that because they're they're humans. They're on a different side. You know, we probably all have that in our heads to a certain specific thing that people don't know about where it's like, dang, I don't understand why this person has this. Or it's like, I don't understand why this is that for what reason, you know? But that is kind of a, a human human thing it's where it's like for example I believe like if I were to just randomly go up I would I would get hate but I know what my life was and how could you possibly find a way to not like what happened you know people will find a way to to tear down anything and that's because they're analyzing you they're they're there's something about you that they don't know right so they make it up and that's where it's like it's not even analyzing anymore because you're not looking for the facts you're, you're just you you don't know something so you're gonna assume it or make it up when that's not the right thing to do i feel like there's a good and bad way to analyze and overanalyzing is a thing to where things get toxic uh, more so than they already were because you're you're probably analyzing a toxic person that is human or you're probably overanalyzing a person that is human and they're trying to get better but you're tearing them down you know or they're already torn down and you're tearing them down even more because you're just like I don't like this person. I don't like what they're becoming. I don't like this, this, and that. But they're they're lashing out for a reason. You know, there's so many things at play that people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Cause they're just like, oh, good music, or oh, this person is a great actor. But it's just that a lot of people have lives besides all that. That's not really taken into account when we're analyzing, right? So I feel like the way I want to analyze people, or you know what I'm saying? Think about people. It's just they live their own lives. I'll hear them out. I hear what they're talking about. I won't. I don't have to agree. I don't agree with a lot of things they're saying. I'll agree with some things, but it's all about just letting them speak and letting them have their their time to talk about. And yeah, things will go a bad way if it's not universally accepted. Okay, but they're they're speaking their mind. You know, people people deserve to talk about these things, you know what I'm saying? And you won't agree, I won't agree with certain things, and that's fine. But, you know, that's a human mind, and we need to, we should hear about why they feel those type of ways and why they're doing these type of things to understand ourselves as well. So that's, you know, kind of like the core thing of why we analyze other people, right? Because a lot of times it feels like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an observer. You know, I don't try to overanalyze. I don't try to dig too deep. I observe, and that kind of tells me. That kind of tells me certain things that. That uh. That tells me the same amount of things that that people who like to analyze get, right? I observe. I listen. I watch. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the little things, body language and, you know, things they do or or things like that. 
And that kind of tells me the same because that's also analyzing a different way. But, you know, I call it observing. And that's the thing I do where I'm watching them, I'm listening and I'm understanding. And it's like, OK, this is the type of person they are. They're, they're people, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I get accepted with so many different people because I do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have like a standing. I'm not hating them. I don't live how they live and they don't live how I live. But I'm very, you know what I'm saying, I'm very open. So so I, I had a lot of interactions with different people that are so different. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel like we should analyze people. We, you know what I'm saying, you may not agree with everything they do or everything that they are because you're totally different, right? I assume, I hope so, that you are totally different from them. But, you know what I'm saying, you just let them, you know, speak about all the things that are going on with their life. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times there's a different there's different stories that you don't know about. There's two sides to everything. There's many sides to everything, right? And I think that should be taken into account every time, you know. <laughs> Cause a, lot of times, a lot of times people just run with things and, those things affect so many people because they're twisted in many different ways. But yeah, that's just like a little insight where I observe more so than analyze so deeply, you know. But you know, at the at the root of it, and, and all in all, you know, we analyze people for for many many reasons. At the end of the day, and it won't ever not be that way because we have to we we need to learn from each other to keep going forward so why we still learn about all these history people and you know new stuff comes up we don't know how they actually were but you know what i'm saying by by things that are written down and things that they done we can kind of get a, a a grasp of who they might be or who they were you know in some way but who we, what do we know for sure because we don't know their day-to-day life or what they had to go through how they even got to those positions but nonetheless they were there so we respect their titles we respect what they were what they did but we don't know them and we don't have to look up to them as some great person if we don't actually know what they did if we just look at their accomplishments because they may not have been a great person they may have great accomplishments but not be a great person so that should be taken into account you know (laughs) That we respect, just it's a respect thing to me, where you respect that you're analyzing people, respect everything they did, but you don't have to respect that person or, you know, bow down to that person, so to speak. And that's metaphorically, not, you know, physically, but, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just, just, I feel like the message in this is, you know, just observe and analyze, yeah, but don't overdo it. Because you still have to be your own person at the end of the day. Because you're not going to be those people. Those people aren't you and you aren't them. You may be similar to them, right? But still, you're not them. You're not their level. They're not your level. So take that and keep that in your mind. And move forward with your own. And that's the message I want to leave with this video. And we're going to be out. So with that, y'all, it's been choosing. I'm be out. Peace.